All right, Alex, thank you. Meanwhile, those who operate local abortion clinics are reacting to the Supreme Court's decision. Eric Hedekos spoke to folks at Planned Parenthood of Central and Western New York about what it means for our region. We're told, Eric Hedda, they're already taking out-of-state calls following today's news. She joins us now live with more on this. Eric Hedda. Good afternoon. Well, CEO Michelle Casey says people will likely be making a trip here from as far as Texas to get appointments. She says Fridays are usually a slow day here at the clinic, but today their call center was booming. Michelle Casey with local Planned Parenthood says she's been anticipating this day for a while. Really just completely devastated, honestly. It's one thing to know it's coming, but you know, having it be real and knowing that people who had abortions scheduled at 11 o'clock this morning in Ohio that are past six weeks aren't going to get one. Their facility has been trying to expand over the years to meet demand in the Rochester region but no success. Most recently, the Henrietta Town Board voting down on a proposal to open a Jefferson Road location. All of this while Casey's expecting a new demand. She's already fielding calls from out of state since a draft opinion on Roe v. Wade was leaked. We expect mo more of the influx to be in our clinics in western New York, but we do expect influx here in uh, the Rochester area. The most patients we'll get will be from Ohio, but we're already seeing people from Texas here driving here. Today, their call center is bustling, mostly from people in our region, Casey says, concerned they might be competing for appointments in the coming days. And we have been short staffed. I think if you look across the medical field entirely, like everybody's struggling to recruit providers and staff. We have been recruiting staff, we're recruiting more staff, we're uh, training people. Moving forward, people will always have their opinions on abortion. But for Casey, her job remains the same taking care of thousands. We see around between 35 and 40,000 patients a year across our 18 county area. Um, and that's for all of the types of visits. We see around 7,000 abortion patients a year um, in, that, in that figure. Now, Casey says not everyone has the privilege to travel here for an appointment due to transportation issues, maybe an abusive relationship, or they can't afford to leave work for them. She says they'll have a few options. They can self-manage their own, which is not as safe or recommended, or they can carry out the term to full pregnancy. In Rochester, Erica Cost, News 8. Thank you, Eric Hedda. In anticipation of today's Supreme Court ruling, Governor Kathy Hochul recently signed a set of bills protecting abortion providers in New York State. She says they're working to codify abortion in the state's constitution.